Hi guys, it's Matt here with Hey Press 10 and today I've got a tutorial in Photoshop for you and it's going to be on removing a white background around hair, okay? So I've got a photo here of Emma Watson and I'm going to remove all this background and replace it with a different colour and it'll look perfectly fine, okay? So, if I head on to Photoshop, I'm going to open my photo and you want to double click to unlock the layer, right? So if it's got a padlock it means it's locked, alright? So unlock it and then you want to delete some of this white because there's like so much white here okay so you want to go to the eraser tool you want to start off with a big brush and the more the closer you get the smaller the brush gets okay so you're like more accurate so make sure you don't go too close with the big brush so just delete some of this white quickly all right like that that's fine and then i want to make the brush a little bit smaller get a little bit closer there we go I'll have a link for this picture in the description as well so you can try it I was like trying it with the same thing as the tutorial okay so after this you want to add a new layer okay so you want to come down here add a new layer and drag it underneath and then you want to go click here and go to solid color so you want to change the color to a nice dark color. I'm going to go for a, a dark blue. Okay, and this will, this will like show which bits of white haven't been deleted. Alright, so after this one we go to the background eraser tool. So, that's here. So, click and hold on the rubber and go down. And then, I'm going to have my brush a little bit bigger. Make sure you're on the image layer by the way. And you want to click on the sample, discontinuous, and the tolerance, I'm going to have it at 50% ish <laughs> alright so you want to click and hold on the white alright don't let go and just go around like this and you can see it stands out but it won't stand out so much against the skin because it's the same colour so I'm not going to be too accurate with the skin because I'm going to do that later and I'll speed it up because I'm more going to focus on the hair okay so I'm going to get up to here to the hair and as you can see, since the colour is like so different to white, you can literally go over it and it won't delete the hair. Which is good. Okay. There we go. I think that's most of it. Right. So, I'm going to quickly speed it up and touch up all the thing around the skin to get rid of it and make it look neat. Alright, so... I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I went around it really, really roughly, okay? Because I'm not focusing on going around the skin at the minute. But you can see on the hair, it's got like really white bits around it and it looks really bad, okay? So what you want to do is you want to come over here, click and hold and go to Burn Tool. Um, range, Midtones, Exposure... You want to have on 50, no 100% even, and you want to untick protect tones, okay? So you want to go over the hair, darkening all of the light edges, like so. This is a really useful tool for like blending in different uh, shades. This is what I usually, usually use it for. <laughs> so as you can see, it works pretty well. There we go. Let's change another color, see what it looks like. As you can see, the light colors, it looks fine. As, like around the skin and everything. But when you get the dark color, you can see the detail much more. Like around the skin. So, I'm going to have another tutorial about how to do it around the skin and more in more detail. But the hair, at the moment, I think I've covered it, okay? So thanks for watching. Around the video now, you can see some of my other videos, which I think you might like. 
And um, alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.